Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to my TJ Maxx video for today. I am uploading these on Thursdays now, which hopefully you guys have caught that by now, but I wanted to get these up a little bit earlier in the week so that you guys can look for these things at your stores during the weekend. So it is Christmas Eve today. I did go out shopping a little bit. Um, I found quite a bit of stuff today actually at TJ Maxx, but I wanted to film some stuff before I uploaded because I didn't find a whole lot in the earlier week, but I found a decent amount today. So we have some really exciting things from Marc J. Jacobs, Buxom, Bare Minerals, Laura Mercier, lots of exciting brands and new stuff. So I hope you guys will enjoy this. This is my Christmas Eve makeup look as well. I got a new palette in from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, which is an indie brand. I'll have everything linked down below. This one might not be in stock though, because this one keeps going in and out of stock. It's their Christmas morning palette, which I thought was fitting for this video. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to shopping. First clip of the week. It's so weird to start these on a Friday shopping, but I'm so mad I didn't find this in my last video, but it's okay because um, it's exciting for the next one. But we found this from Marc Jacobs, and this is such a nice set from them. This is the Runway Spring 2020, so it came out just this year. A four-piece essential set with bag, and it actually comes with some really good stuff, including one of their sequined powder shadows that I was talking about. You know how we found the liquid ones last week? Well... Let's see if it has the names. All right, I found it on the bottom here. It says the Glam Glitter Eyeshadow in Glitter Rock. And then there's a highliner in blacker, the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara, and the Lamarck Lip Cream. And then the shade is Cream and Sugar. Ooh, I actually kind of want this for myself. How much is this? $24.99. Not too bad. Um, that's a full size glitter, it looks like. So I might pick one up. Honestly, this is super cute. And I love Marc Jacobs. Speaking of Marc Jacobs, there's another Spring 2020 set as well. This is the Mist Match 3-piece set, and it comes with a mini dewdrops, the highliner, which is a fun lilac. It's called Mist Me. It's so pretty. And you get a f maybe a full-size gloss in cream and sugar. So this is really cute too, and this one's $14.99. I really like this purple eyeliner and this gloss. I'm thinking about getting both. They're super cute. We're also seeing a new Kopari. I'm really a big fan of their skincare, and they're a really sweet company as well. They use like coconut oil. Um, and coconut products and a lot of their stuff. This is their coconut cleansing oil. Purify and replenish. It's going for $7.99. And they also have this coconut face cream. And it says hydrate and nourish. Sulfate free, paraben free, phthalate free. This one's $12.99. Full size. It says it's lightweight and helps fight visible wrinkles and delivers essential hydration. So that's really cool. I love finding new Kopari. Okay, check out these giant Garnier micellar waters in the skincare aisle. This is one of, the, one of the best drugstore micellars, but yeah, I've never seen one this huge. This is the 700 ml size. It's only $4.99. They also have this Ren non-drying acne treatment gel since we've been seeing quite a few of their skincare items this week in full sizes. This one's only $6.99. It has 0.5 salicylic acid. I saw people posting these cute little Barbie items on their Instagrams and stuff from TJ and I never saw it but I found one and how cute is it? It's actually by Skinny Dip which I think it's called Skinny Dip London. I've heard of it before, um, the brand and the Barbie and it's a cute little eyelash curler. How fun is that? Let's see, this is going for $3.99. I thought that was adorable. I think there's like brushes as well that have been showing up, but so far I just found this cute little lash curler. So we saw these pure Barbie lashes a few weeks ago. They have a few more in with this lash kit for $9.99. But I also saw they have a bunch of single pure lashes here as well, which I've never seen um, them have like their regular pro eyelashes here. So let's see. I think they have a few different ones. We have a bunch of the Dreamers, which look like this. These are $4.99. I think these usually go for like $16, so that's a pretty good deal. And then this one's called Mogul. I feel like this one would be my favorite. They're very wispy. So I wanted to point that out. Usually I like their lashes. Sometimes it does have like a thicker band that I'm not the most used to, but for $4.99 that's a really good price. Spotted this from Soap and Glory in the skincare aisle. They had a few of them. Um, just this product though, the Scrub Atomic Amazing Daily Face Polish. I haven't really seen their skincare here, so I thought that was pretty interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of their skincare, to be honest, but I thought I would show it in case you guys do like it. This is only $4.99. A ton of new stuff at the store today. It's been a few days since I've been in, but first I wanted to show this new MAC set, which is really nice. So this came out, I think, last holiday. It has all the stars and stuff on it. In this kit, you get a mini MAC Fix Plus spray and also a mini strobe cream. I'm super curious in maybe picking this one up because I have been wanting to get that pink light 
strobe cream. It looks really pretty. And $14.99 is not too bad for this, so I might end up getting this. They had two of them here. Sorry if my voice is shaky sometimes. It's because I get really excited <laughs> about seeing new stuff, and then I like, can't breathe with my mask as well. <laughs> so that's why. But yeah, first find, really awesome. Also, I'm seeing finally these guys. There's just one right here, but there might be more. Oh yeah, I see a little bit more lurking around. It's the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. I talk about this so much over on my channel. You guys already know I'm obsessed with it. I literally have two of them already, so I probably won't be buying this. I'm really shocked that it's here because I thought this was pretty popular, but maybe, maybe not a lot of people know about it because it's very full coverage, so it's not the best under the eyes. I would definitely recommend it for covering up blemishes or redness because the coverage is really, really high. So it covers all of my blemishes. It seriously makes my skin look perfect. So I would definitely pick this up for $9.99. It's definitely worth it, 100%. So this color is in tan 46. I see here, this is the light 26 one. There's a bunch of medium shades on top as well. So yeah, they are showing up everywhere. Really good find though. And there's even more. <laughs> and there's a bunch of tan ones too. And then this store also got in more of the glitters, the sequins in Gleam Girl. I think that's the one I picked up for $7.99. Let's see if they have any other shades. Moonstone I found already and Gleam Girl again. So no new shades it doesn't look like at least. And I wanted to mention they have tons more of those Becca lip balms all in the rose shade. So they have tons and tons of them. And more Becca glosses. They are stocked up. These are mostly all that clear gloss that's in the shade Flamboyant. But I think that's pretty much it for this store um, today. I wanted this humongous Philosophy Purity Cleanser, which would last you seriously so long. I always see like the shower gels in this side, but not this. So this is 32 ounces of the cleanser, and it is $24.99 for this, which is super cheap for that. Honestly, even the small size costs that much. And they had this mini Peter Thomas Roth kit, which had a bunch of minis of their popular products. We've been seeing a lot of their sets here, so this is originally $25. And it's going for $14.99. It's called Jet Set Facial Superstore. They have a lot of good stuff. Similar stuff to the stuff I found at the other store. But I did see this new product from Kevin Aquan. It's the Precision Liquid Liner in Black. And it's going for... Oh, maybe that one doesn't have a sticker. Let me see. There's more. Okay, apparently none of these have a sticker. So I'm not sure how much this is going for. I'll have to look on Instagram and see what it's going for. Because some people might have posted this. So, they have a lot of them, but I'm not sure the price on them, but still pretty cool to see. I came back to the store and they put the price on this, so it is $6.99. I did spot this. This is a brand new launch from Laura Mercier's new and improved skincare line, and this is their Soothing Eye Makeup Remover. I do have this, and I don't think I have used it yet, so I should probably do that. I'm curious to see how it is. And it's going for $7.99, and yeah, this is fairly new. It just came out not too long ago. I've heard of this brand, Face Halo. I don't think this is by that brand, but it's supposed to be like a makeup removing towel, similar to a makeup razor, I think. They're very popular. I've heard a lot about them, and I think they sell them on Ulta, but this is like probably a different brand, but it's the Mask Halo Reusable Makeup Cleansing Pad. Um, you just put water on, and it removes everything. And this is going for $3.99 if you're looking for a face halo kind of dupe. It looks like they are restocking the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer and bringing in more shades. You still only see the darker ones here, but I actually found one in Fair. This is a nice concealer if you want something more hydrating. It is a serum kind of finish, but it's really nice. It gives decent coverage, and it's only $5.99. So I found Fair and Medium. They had more in their little boxes, but I didn't want to dig like too far. So we might see more. And then I also see they're restocking the Complexion Rescue Foundation Stick, which I haven't seen for a while here. But I found a couple shades in their bins. There's probably more coming. But I found Wheat 4.5 and Suede 04, which is $7.99 each. Super affordable for this. And these do have the expiration on the bottom. So you have about a year for those. Okay, so I'm over at Marshall's. This store is always super messy, but I do want to mention I did find another Laura Mercier blush. I found this shade last week in a fresco, and they had another one, which this one is in the color Grapefruit. So it looks like they're bringing in more, and this one is $9.99. Also, I just got my nails done, <laughs> so that's why they changed. And then this was a really fun find over at Marshall's as well. They have this Buxom lip gloss. They've been doing these special collections with different scents. And this one, I believe it came out early this year. Um, it's like their brunch collection. And this is the Frosé color, which looks so pretty. 
and it's going for $5.99. I also spotted this from the brand Honest Beauty, which I've never seen here before. I think I saw this palette at Ross too um, earlier this week, but this is their eyeshadow palette, um, 10 high pigments. I honestly haven't tried a whole lot from the brand. I know they sell it at Ulta. I think it's Jessica Alba's brand, if I'm correct. This is going for $9.99 for this palette. So my store put out super cute Valentine's Day tables already. You know, they're always early on the holidays. They have some cute Ray Dunn stuff, including this little love vase. This love little cupcake. And then this tall heart canister is here. Tons of cute stuff. This is a candle, which is champagne rose. That's super cute, too. And then they have even more over here. There's some really cute candles. Look at this. This kind of looks like Bath and Body Works. It's by, I think, Everyday Luxe and then the dw home ones this glitter one how cute is that i love it and then they have like a ray dunn be mine mixing bowl in these picture frames and tumblers too such a sucker for valentine's day decor because it's i love pink it's all like hearts and cute stuff i want all this stuff <laughs> it's so fun and plus it's my birthday month they also have this section oh my gosh with these pillows this is adorable I am obsessed. And they added these like tulip faces. I love tulips. This is cute with a little heart. I'm so bad at decorating, but I just like all this stuff is so cute to me. I want everything. All right, so I'm seeing some new stuff. I wasn't sure how much they would have. It's like Christmas Eve today. And I'm putting this up today, but I'm seeing some new Laura Mercier kits, some lip kits. This is the Velour Temptation Lip Duet. It has like a smudge on it, so I feel like someone opened this. <laughs> they must have put this stuff out yesterday, but this is the colors you get in here it looks like two of their matte lipsticks and it's $14.99 I don't think they're full size though. I think they are minis the colors are vibe and fatal and there's also this one too the seduction which also has two of those matte colors a little bit deeper tones and this one's $12.99 for some reason so $14.99 and $12.99 and then I saw this we have a new Rachel Zoe and Lorac uh, palette the golden eyes. I don't think we've seen this one. I bought one prior like a couple months back But it was different colors. This one hadn't, it looks like it's been open, but hopefully no one touched it um, Otherwise, I might get it and just spray some alcohol on it. It's $5.99 for this I'd go ahead and open this one since I saw the box was open and I am gonna purchase this I think this would actually be so pretty for Christmas, which is tomorrow So I might pick this one up. It's super cute and it looks like it's all shimmers It looks like they stocked up on a ton of the milk bronzers as well we have a bunch of the Bake Shade, so those are seriously all up there. But I did see one new product. This one might be broken, though, because I see some powder pieces, but I haven't seen this one here before. It's their Holographic Highlighting Powder. I've always seen, like, their cream ones, but not their actual powder highlight. So, very curious about this. It's going for $7.99. The shade of this one is in Mars, by the way. I also have this Laura Mercier Hidden Gems palette here, which I'm pretty sure we haven't seen yet. This one is $24.99. This one does look very gorgeous, though. It has some beautiful jewel tone shades. Very curious about it. I'll insert a photo for you guys, as usual. But yeah, that's an exciting find. I'm actually finding some good stuff today. I'm kind of surprised. I wasn't sure if they would restock, like, before Christmas. Quite a few of my stores as well. I've been noticing these mini sizes in this Estee Lauder Sumptuous Rebel Mascara. Just a little baby one. It's $4.99 for .07 ounces if it's something you've been wanting to try out. So, seeing if there's more Lorax stuff since we found that palette. It looks like they did put out another lipstick in Dominatrix for their Alter Ego formula. These are super affordable and really good at $3.99. I would definitely recommend them. Also this mini front of the line pro eye pencil from them. It looks like it's like a sample size but it is only $2.99 which I would guess is a pretty good price. I mean I don't go through eyeliner that often so I think that would be a good one. It looks like a black shade and I found a new Bobbi Brown lip gloss. We've been seeing so many random lip colors from them lately and I found their high shimmer gloss in Bellini. This one's $9.99. I did spot this julep brush set which actually looks really nice. It's the Beloved Basics 5 piece kit. I don't know how long this has been here if it's new or not because I never check this area because it's usually like boring stuff. I don't know. <laughs> this is going for $9.99 looks like we got another new Smashbox item. Well, it's technically a restock, but I haven't seen it for a couple years here. I found one forever ago when I first started making these videos, but it's the Covershot Ablaze Eye Palette from their Covershot line that has the fun packaging. It's like an explosion. This is going for $12.99. It's a really pretty, warm, neutral palette. Formula is okay. It's not my favorite, but I think for the $12 price, then it's pretty good if you're looking for a warm, neutral palette. 
This is kind of cool from Gucci. I believe it's soaps, which is fun. I don't think it's a perfume, but it's the bloom and it says perfume soap set. So it comes with four of them. Oh, sorry, three of them. <laughs> this is Aqua de Fiori, Natar de Fiori. So there must be some different ones in there. I honestly have never tried many of Gucci scents before. So you guys will have to let me know if this is a good one. Let's see, it's going for $39.99. Ooh, I was hoping to find this. I saw some people finding this on Instagram and it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water Duo. It comes with the earth and water. Kind of similar to one we found from them a few weeks ago at TJ, but this one's at Marshall's. These ones are scented, so the earth one is cedarwood and vetiver, and then the water is sea salt and lemon. I think I would like those, but anyways, this is going for $14.99, not too bad. Tons more of heart stuff at this uh, other store, more Ray Dunn, I love you little thing. They have actual heart mugs. I think I have this one from last year, and they have the red ones as well. So lots of fun Valentine's Day things. All right, so that's it for my video. I did actually buy a few things, but I think I'm gonna do another big haul again. You guys really loved it when I did it last time with a bunch of stuff, because I actually ended up buying like decor, clothes, and makeup, so I have a decent amount. So I'm gonna save that for a big haul. This week was really good. I'm a little bit nervous for next week because we are supposed to get a snowstorm here in Iowa that could be like three days long, and whenever it snows, I avoid driving. Like, I will not. I have to drive like an hour to the stores and it's just a lot so the video next week might have to be delayed if I'm not able to get to the stores by Thursday. It just depends. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted probably on my Instagram stories or my community tab if I do have to delay it or put it on Sunday again, Friday, whatever works. But I did want to let you guys know that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you are new here because we find the best TJ Maxx finds. And if you want to be able to find the updated stuff at your stores, definitely watch my videos. Anyways, I will let you guys go. Have a Merry Merry Christmas. I will be back with another video tomorrow, holiday related. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.